excavation safety. Are you prepared? This film depicts a typical work crew at Colorado Springs Utilities starting a routine excavation job. Let's join them at their pre-job briefing. The trench dimension is going to be 8 by 8 and 8 depth of 6 and we are having a protective system with the trench box. And let's see here. Keep a lookout for surface hazards, underground utilities, egress by foot, loose rock and soil conditions, and any vehicle traffic that might be coming in here that's not supposed to be in here today. So if we can have each member sign their name, it says underneath crew members. Rocky and we're gonna thing is is said to be clear, said to be no locates in this general area. Okay. While they're doing that, myself and Michael Vado, we're gonna set up a ladder, get those two hooks off the top of that swarm box. We're gonna spread out the spreader on this swarm box. So we got four legs to pull off of instead of two. Today's excavation will be six feet deep. Protective systems such as a trench box are required at five feet and greater. Soil is classified as Type C at Colorado Springs Utilities. Backfill is important to ensure shield stability. Barricades or high visibility barriers must be placed around all excavations as appropriate. A means of egress is required at a depth of 4 feet or greater. The ladder must extend a minimum of 36 inches from the top of the protective system. So far, this excavation job is looking great. Locates were performed prior to digging, the pre-job briefing was held at the site, their protective system is in use, and the ladder is properly set up, and work has begun. Hey, no, no, don't leave the protection of the box! Oh, no! Eric, stop! Got a cave in. Charlie's at the bottom of the pit. Oh my God, call 911. You should never work outside of a protective shield. Never, ever enter an excavation if there's been a cave in. Planning for an excavation emergency should be part of your pre planning. Call 911 immediately. Colorado Springs Fire Department Heavy Rescue will be dispatched. Ensure you request Heavy Rescue. After calling 911, also call and request one of the utility's vac trucks to the site as soon as possible to assist heavy rescue. Colorado Springs Fire Department will work with the crew lead to get all of the details. At this point, it becomes their scene. For the utility crew, all that can be done is to wait.
An excavation rescue is not something that will happen quickly. The fire department must ensure their safety prior to entering the excavation. They will use plywood to stabilize the perimeter. SCBA bottles will be readily available. Ventilation will be set up and much more. Their shoring consists of pneumatic whalers and uprights and their primary rescue tool, hand digging. The next three and a half minutes demonstrates the remaining fire department rescue process. It was down there already, but it seemed like it was already But we can get a line on the big one somehow. Get some of that slack, Ed. Shoot We're not going to have anything for a lower volume shoulder. Got a little bit more slack, Ed. Let's get a whaler. Let's get a 4x4 to go across. Yep. What's the distance to this trench box? That's it, man. Start getting right over there, Bill. The trench box. We'll get a whaler. Eight. Yeah. Eight. Okay, Jason, you ready? Yeah. We're gonna go off Jason. Yeah. I'll let you know when he's ready. Yeah. Is that you down, Ed? A bladder is installed for additional stabilization of the space between the uprights and the excavation side. Rescuers must not put themselves in harm's way. Hand digging to reach the victim is a must. What's our plan for getting them out? We got a stoke We might have them uncovered here in about three minutes. Okay. We're going to go. So let's, uh, we can get it down in this way with the rope on it, whole rope. We're about to anchor to make sure we can get it. Put your ankles there just to get enough clearance to get it. That's why I want to hear it. Yeah. 
You ready up here, Craig? Okay. Who are, who are you? An employee can be trapped by a cave-in within seconds and die within minutes. You guys will have a short From the time the 911 call was placed to the fire department until the recovery was complete, 55 minutes slowly ticked away. Excavation rescue is a long process. We're right on that. Yeah, we're on a hinge. All right, lay it down. Stop. Stop. All right. How often do you take excavation safety for granted? Have you ever worked in an excavation without a protective system? or worked outside the trench box like the crew did in this video? If so, it's only a matter of time before your time runs out.